He's a UConn football fan favorite, and after a long and winding journey through several different states and levels of football, DJ Hernandez is back home in Connecticut. He's the head coach, head football coach at Ledger High School. As Eric Dobrabs reports, Hernandez is back with a new team and a new name. There we go. So get out. get out. Just before get six out. this morning, about 30 football players started trickling into the gymnasium in Ledger. They were there for morning workouts. Getting a teenager out of bed before sunup, not an easy chore. It's hard, but we got used to it, and now we're all coming here every day. Leading the players through this fast-paced 75 minutes of stretching and weightlifting is DJ Jonathan Hernandez. Here we go, let's go. The former UConn football star, now Ledger head coach. Right now, I'm loving it. Guys, up with a little bit more control. Up with a little bit more control, then strike down. After a couple years away from the game, working as a roofer in Texas, Hernandez is back doing what he loves. I think the good and the bad throughout my experiences, whether it was you know, me or anything, uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, I think my first go around as a head high school football coach, uh, I think guys who come here now and see me uh, would say, wow, like he is a different guy. Different on and off the field. Growing up in Bristol and then playing in stores, Hernandez was always known as DJ. It was a sports nickname after his father, Dennis, and his grandfather, John. Now he prefers to go by Jonathan. It's just something that, you know, means a lot to me. Um, you know, I think I'm a different person. I'm a, I'm a different man. Um, and I think that's happened through the experiences, whether it's my father, grandfather, or anything else that happened um, in, 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 in my life. His journey in life has taken him to lots of places since graduating from UConn back in 2008. Hernandez coached at Southington High School back in 2010 and then took coaching jobs at Brown, Miami, and Iowa. Um, the biggest thing I'm really focusing on this year is, is being a teacher. Uh, there's a lot of coaches out there that will react and yell. Um, I, I really want to react, but in a positive way. A little better, a little better. All right, be positive. Be positive. As a unit, we're all better because like, we're all more of a team, more as of more individuals like last year and like family. We've learned you know, to adjust our routine because um, obviously we're not all used to working up this early. But it's helped us, and you know, you learn more time management because you know you have to get your homework done, and then you have to go to bed at a proper time and wake up at a proper time. Hernandez's former head coach at UConn, Randy Etzel, is back coaching the Huskies, and he says the sky is the limit for Hernandez. He's a great competitor. He's smart. He's 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 passionate. Uh, he's driven. Uh, he's all those things that um, that you look for, you know, in a coach. I'm just glad to see him back and. See him back here in the area because I know he'll do a he'll do a great job. Okay. All right, you look like you're gelling right now. Is that gel or sweat? All right, I like it. I like the sweat. Your life has taught me to take it one day at a time. Uh, each and every day, I'm giving these guys my best effort. All I'm controlling is what I can possibly uh, control. Here we go. In Ledger, I'm Eric Dobratz for the Sports Edge.